Howdy YouTubers, it's AJ coming at you again. Uh, I'm going to talk about a couple different things uh, on this video today. Uh, but I wanted to start out by uh, uh, by acknowledging uh, a guy who has a channel. Uh, who's He's got well over 100,000 subscribers now. Uh, he goes by the handle of uh, Boogie2988. And uh, uh, Boogie's got a, he's got a gaming his channel's a gaming channel, but uh, he also does uh, he does um, a couple of different characters that he does videos of. He has a he has a character he does called Francis, and he does a character Jesse, and and um, and and, and Boogie's a uh, he's a big guy, uh, and he uh, he does these different um, stereotypes. Uh, you know the the Jesse character and the, and the Francis character and and uh, and they're they're quite funny actually. A lot of his videos are really good, um, but the reason that I'm thanking him is that uh, uh, he also talks about you know um, different gaming topics and stuff like that. And uh, and when I watched his videos, uh, he's he does these characters, but then he also has these uh, what he calls rambling videos, where kind of where he does what I'm doing and he just kind of talks about different topics. Um, and uh, I thought, well, after watching that, I said, well, if uh, if this guy can do it, I can do it. I can. Uh, I got. I've been gaming since the '70s, and uh, I've probably got uh, a lot of um, information that uh, that older gamers uh, that that uh, started with Dungeons and Dragons and, and played Atari and all those things. I've probably got a lot of stuff uh, uh, that I can offer that uh, that'll be kind of nostalgic for people. Uh, from that era, and then um, I'm still a gamer today, so I'll probably talk about you know uh, some some uh, current stuff uh, as well. And I thought, well, if he can do it, I can do it. And uh, so uh, I just wanted to thank uh, thank him. If uh, so, Boogie, if you're watching this, thank you. Uh, appreciate you giving me the inspiration to start my own channel. And uh, with that, I'll get on with uh, the two things I wanted to talk about today. Uh, first one is uh, a friend of mine who watches this channel. Um, I, I was explaining MMOs, and she hadn't really ever heard of them before, and uh, and so uh, she has a another interest that that, um, that she follows, and uh, and she had heard something similar to that. But she didn't know what an MMO was, and so she asked me if uh, if this uh, this interest that she's got. If it was similar to, you know, um, the games, you know, MMOs, and uh, so after I looked at it, looked into it a little bit, I said, no, it's not really uh, uh, MMOs um, that the game you're talking about is. Um, it's closer to a game um, called Missing, uh, and um, they actually did a Game of the Year uh, edition of it, and uh, it's what I. It, a lot of people would call it an alternative reality game. We're in, uh, uh, here's the game right here. And, uh, it, um, it's basically a mystery game where, uh, the story is these two people that are on the cover have gone missing and, uh, you're kind of recruited into, uh, to help, um, solve the, the crime. And what's interesting about it is that this particular game, uh, they don't really portray it as a game. Uh, they uh, they basically um, portray it to you when you first started out as um, that uh, that you've gotten this CD that has that uh, that these uh, kidnappers um, have kidnapped these people and they've uh, they've distributed this CD um, and it's kind of an it's kind of a encrypted uh, twisted game. Uh, that the kidnappers have come up with that's on the CD, and so you, in order to find them, you have got to unravel this mystery through through the CD that's been distributed um, by the kidnappers. And so everything that you're doing in the game is is from the standpoint of uh, that uh, that you're not a player; you're you're actually helping to 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 solve this crime. And it goes so far in as that it sends you emails. The game, as it progresses, it sends you emails with 
with to your actual you actually put your real e email address in there and you'll actually get real emails and everything and it's it's very you know when you're reading these things it's it's if somebody was to read your email uh, that didn't know that it was a game um, if somebody was just snooping around and checked your email they would think what in the world is this person caught up in you know because that's how it's it's portrayed through the emails and everything it's it's very realistic um, and so I I call it an alternative reality game um, because it actually creates this whole separate reality um, and uh, so her bringing that up you know um, I decided to load it up just because it's an older game it's it's uh, several years old and so I didn't know if the uh, servers would still be active the ones that have to send you the emails to progress in the game and so I uh, I loaded up just to test it and sure enough um, everything still works I still get the um, I've only played it you know uh, an hour or so but I was getting the emails and, and everything was progressing fine so if that's something you're interested in you might want to pick it up I checked on Amazon it's available on Amazon and uh, I'm sure it's available other places but uh, so if that sounds like something you're interested in you might want to give it a shot uh, I've never played it all the way through so I can't I can't give it like a full review or anything like that and say you know how the whole experience was but it's from what I've played uh, in the past and I, I didn't finish it the first time I played it um, and then I just reloaded it again and uh, it's uh, it's it's definitely interesting um, so you'll have to check it out uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was this um, as everybody's aware of this uh, tragedy that happened in Colorado with the, the shooting at the at the the Batman movie um, I uh, I was watching the news right after it happened and it seemed like the media was already trying to find um, all these other things to blame the shooting on. Uh, they were trying to blame, um, you know, violence in video games and violence in, in, uh, in the movies. And then, of course, they wanted to blame that the particular movie that was playing. Um, they were saying, oh, it's such a, you know, the, the whole Batman franchise, all the movies have been so violent and so forth and so on. And, uh, and of course, we know it's just a, it's just a guy who's a nut who something sets him off and he decides to just go on a rampage. And um, I, I don't think that there's anything to blame but the, the person behind it, obviously a disturbed person. And uh, when the media wants to start jumping on and saying, Oh well, the movie's too violent, or whatever you know. Um, it just seems like a lot of hyperbole to me. Anyway, so what it made me think of was back in the day when Dungeons and Dragons first came out, there was a, a kid named uh, Dallas Egbert the uh, Third, and he was—he's a genius, and he was—he'd uh, already started college, and he was still a, a, a young teenager um, because he was gifted and, and had an IQ of like 180 or whatever. And uh, so he played the game, and uh, he went missing. And um, so they hired the family hired a private detective to to find him. And, and the private investigator finds him, and uh, he's down. There's some tunnels underneath the university he went to, and that's where he was at. He was down in these tunnels. And he, uh, you know, he had been playing Dungeons and Dragons. And so the media at the time instantly jumped on saying, oh, well, it had to be Dungeons and Dragons is what, you know, made him flip out and that's why he's missing and he could be dead and it's all Dungeons and Dragons' fault because he played the game, you know, and everything else. And so this private investigator, you know, he, he finds him and gets him back to his parents and everything and, and of course, later down the road, uh, he ends up committing suicide. Um, and, uh, and the first time when he went down in the tunnels, he went down with the intent of committing suicide, and he was unsuccessful. And um, so then, you know, after some time goes by, he ends up commit with a gun. He ends up just killing himself. And it had nothing to do with the game. It was uh, he was a, a, a very disturbed kid who um, all the pressures from being an overachiever at a young age, uh, going to college early. Um, so none of the none of the people he was going to college with were his age, of course. He was younger than all of them. Um, of course, he was probably bullied and, and things like that. And uh, and so he turned to drugs and and everything else, and he ended up committing suicide. And 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 the private investigator he uh, 
he made a promise to the kid um, um, beforehand that if anything ever happened to him, he would not publish the story uh, for several years uh, afterwards. And and the the, de 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 the detective kept his promise. He didn't he didn't publish. It. He waited however long it was he promised the kid. And so then he wrote a book about it. And the book is called The Dungeon Master. And it's about the disappearance of the kid and and and, and the detective uh, going and finding him and the whole story and everything else. And and the bottom line is that the detective you know he asserts in the, in the book, he says, the bottom line is that the game had nothing to do with it, but if you listen to the media, it had everything to do with it. So I just, it made me think of this, uh, with this whole thing going on with the shooting. Um, it made me reflect back on this, this book, and this is, this is from the 80s, so this is not anything current, this is, this is from back in the 80s. Um, so, uh, anyway, those were the two things I wanted to, to discuss. So, um, if you're, uh, if you're interested in either one of those, you know, um, I can't, I can't really give a full review on missing, uh, the game, um, but I know it's still available. And then on the book, um, it's, it's an interesting read, uh, and I think it really is, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of topical right now because, uh, there's a parallel between, um, uh, what happened back in this day with that kid going missing and then, um, and present day with the shooting and the media is trying to to blame everybody but the shooter of course um, so anyway uh, until next time uh, that's it have a good day